my friends, Gabrielle Michelle here. Today we are styling my hair. I'm going back to the old ways. I used to use, well, not all the way back. <laughs> well, I used to do the LCO method, so that's leave-in cream oil. <clears throat> Let's scratch the oil out because I've been taking that out of my hair regimen um, for the past couple months now, since March. So no oils, but I will be doing a cream. If you haven't seen the deep conditioning video that I just posted last week, go ahead and check that out. It's up in the cards and in the description box below, but I also use the Melanin Hair Care Deep Conditioner. So this is a deep conditioner. This is like my second or third time using it. I still do deep conditions from time to time, and I even have a, a log that shows what product I use and you know when I use it um, I don't post all of my wash days you can see uh, there's a, a big gap I think from like 28 to like 25 or something so I skipped three wash days because of my schedule if you guys don't know it takes a lot to film and edit a video so I don't do every single week I try to but sometimes I just can't do it anyways I'm gonna go ahead and use the melanin uh, twist elongating style cream. I am doing a twist out as I usually do. This product has no sulfates, no parabens, no mineral oil, no formaldehydes, no phthalates, and it does have shea butter and other natural oils. The detox Black Girl Curls way is to use no raw oils or butters or no products that have oils and butters in the first five ingredients. This one does. Shea butter is the second ingredient, or has nine more ingredients before it gets to all the other ingredients, the other oils. Sorry y'all, I can't talk today. So um, this one, of course, we all know. It's by the OG Natural, her name is Natural85, Whitney, um, and she signs the container. So on here it says how to use, use a little or as much as needed. Massage styling cream into wet or dry hair. One section at a time if style is desired. Use with your favorite leave-in conditioner. So let me go get a leave-in conditioner. So in the last few videos, I've been using either the Curls Blueberry Bliss or the Allocate Naturals Lemongrass one. It's a liquid leave-in, but I've been loving these forever. This is not my first bottle and it's almost kind of gone. It's over halfway gone. So going to go in section by section. This is how my hair looks after rinsing the conditioner out. So you can see some of the curls form in there. I gotta get better with my wash and goes, but until I feel like doing another wash and go, I'm gonna just stick to what I know. And that is a twist out. So applying the leave-in in my hair and I wanna really get it in. So I'll do some smoothing. You can do raking. I like to smooth it though. All right, so when I do my twist outs, I don't usually part it. I just use my finger to kind of make a messy part because it doesn't matter, especially because I usually only wear it in the twist for one night, just one night. Oh, so. <laughs> Ty Tribbett reference. So yeah, I don't care about how it looks because it's not there to stay like that. So I'm going to actually use some water. I like doing my twist outs on wet hair. I mean, it's damp right now, but I uh, kind of like it soaking wet. Water helps. So going in with the cream. They say it's lightweight. Looks like it is but I, obviously I have too much, so I'm just gonna put some back in the container. And I'm gonna do the full back section, which is not a lot, it's literally the bottom. I'm going to 
pick a section. I'll use my tangle teaser. Just want to make sure it's detangled. So the smaller your twist, the more defined they'll be. I used to do this to make sure it was like super um, tangle free, right tail comb. Cause I think that might be, well that plus me borrowing hair is the reason why my hair is probably a little frizzy when I do my twist outs. So we'll see how this one turns out. See how it's going so nicely through my hair? Cause my ends are gone. The bad hair is gone. I've been um, going to a stylist since March and we talked about my hair and concerns and my hair has been making my wash day a struggle not recently but before going to her so um and I explained this in my little recap video if you've been following me for a while you know that I haven't really been doing that many natural hair videos in the last couple of months and I'm going to tell you why so I felt like my hair was like very unhealthy like even though I would wash it every week I would you know take the time to detangle shampoo condition deep condition leave-in styler all that I just felt like my hair wasn't healthy I was struggling to do my hair to detangle and all that so I was looking for something that um, would help and I saw black girl girl but I know you had to pay for a lot of their stuff so I'm like well I don't want to pay for something that I'm not sure of so I did use their site to find a stylist that they um, that went through one of their classes or a series of their classes. Long story short is I found the stylist and I shared with her my concerns with my hair and we agreed to cut it. Basically do a big chop, but over a couple months because I didn't want to do a big chop. Um, if you want to see my big chop the first time, like when I first went natural, you can check that video out. I didn't want to do a big chop and I wanted my hair cut. I noticed myself that I had single strand knots and split ends. It had a lot of single strand knots and a lot of split ends. You wanna know how I know? Because I like to play in my hair, which you should not do, but I do play in my hair. And like, I, like during the day, if I'm bored at work, or not even bored, if I just have a free hand, I'll just go like this and you know, mess up my twist outs. Um, but I could fill single strand knots. And then when I cut them out, because I have my own shear here, I could see split ends. If you look up the strand of hair with the single strand knot, there's most likely gonna be a split end. So I saw that and my hair was, it was a struggle. Like literally a struggle to do my hair because it was breaking, splitting, breaking. So um, yeah, wash days took forever because detangling took forever. Anyways, <laughs> just wrapping, going around the, the whole thing. Um, where I'm trying to get to is I found something that I think works for me. And now my wash days, if you watched the last video, I washed and conditioned my hair within an hour, which is unheard of for me. Unheard of. But also, I can tell the difference in my hair. It's healthy, er, because I, it look, my hair looked healthy, and that's why you can't tell 
what someone is really going through through a camera because my hair looks healthy it was it's always thick so thick doesn't mean it's healthy my hair has been thick since birth like literally even when i was relaxed it was something <laughs> thickness does not equate to health not at all um because like from here you can't tell if i were to have a single strand knot you can't see that from here you can't see that i'm not unless i'm going like this and showing you the close-ups of my hair you can't see that you don't know that unless i tell you my hair was damaged and i don't know if it's just because i didn't get a professional trim i don't know or the products that i was using my eating habits it could be a lot of things that uh determine what your hair looks like so yeah um i am probably gonna just do these two twists and then come back when my hair is kind of done because i don't want to hold y'all if we were here for the whole time it would be like 40 minutes because it takes me about 40 minutes to twist up my hair and i know we all have short attention spans so no one's gonna be looking watching a 40 minute video. So as you can see, I put the leave-in, the cream, and then I added some more water. Cause I like, I like water. And then you twist it. So you wanna separate your hair into two pieces and you wanna try to make them as even as possible because when you uh, borrow hair from one side to the other, it messes the outcome. It makes it a little bit more frizzy and um, not as defined. So yeah, you wanna make sure you're not browning your hair and you're gonna do a two strand twist all the way down, making sure you smooth your hair as you go because that's another thing. If your hair is not smooth or detangled, your twist is not your twist out is not going to be popping. So yeah, that's going to be it for now. I'll come back when I'm done so I can get this done. So I am done, it's 7.30, so I start, well, 7.29. I started in the shower at 5.30, so it took two, two hours to wash my hair, condition it, well, I need condition today, and take a shower and style it. So I am definitely cutting down on the time that it takes to complete my wash day. And I'm so thankful for that because it used to be a full day couple hours well a couple is two a, a whole bunch of hours <laughs> so i'm thankful for having a two hour wash day so i am going to go run to my friend's house real quick to pick up some desserts if you um follow me on instagram follow me on all social media at gabrielle i shell but my friend she's on instagram her handle is sweets by tea and she makes desserts. So I'll show you guys what I get once I get back. I'm excited for that. So I usually sit under the dryer when I'm done with my twist, but today, since I have to go run an errand, it's 7.30, I'm not gonna sit under the dryer and then go to her. I'll just let it air dry, and then I'll be back tomorrow or Saturday, whenever I feel like taking my twist out. And I'll show you guys the big reveal. So I'm dressed and I'm ready to go, but I just wanted to share with you guys what I'm wearing today. So I'm wearing, if you can see it, it says Ken on here, it's Ken Apparel. It's a YouTuber. She um, started a brand, a business, I think last year, where she does satin line products. So it's cool, protects your hair. I don't want to buy to see my hair. But anyways, I love it because it does protect your hair. I also have the satin, head rest covers for my car and I have a hat and then I also bought my brother the same things I bought him a hoodie 
a hat and the headrest covers. Do I have anything else? I think that's it. So black owned business, go ahead and check them out. These are all black owned businesses that I used today. So Curls, Blue Curls is the brand. This is Blueberry Bliss Leave-In. This is the Mel 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 Melanin Hair Care brand. Um, both black owned, black owned. So yes, black owned, go support. Minus. <laughs> <laughs> Excited for the sweet spy tea. It's good. Tres leche Oreo cake. Mmm. I think it's some milk. It's moist. And it tastes really good. I love the Oreos in it. Mmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. In my tummy, tummy, tummy. Usually I like to keep it more defined at the front or in the front. So I'm not gonna separate these, but in the back you'll see it's more, a little bit more puffy because I separated them. Um, this here, I don't know what the heck this is. So usually if I mess up on something like this, it's like really puffy in the front, which I did not purposely do. I'll just go ahead and use some bobby pins to put this up. I do not like it to be puffy in the front. That's what everybody sees. That's what I see. I don't see the back of my head. So to be honest, I don't really care too much about the back as long as I look good from the front. I said in the beginning of the video that I do leave-ins with my mousse, but I'm definitely gonna be continuing to do that because I think the leave-ins help it feel a little bit more softer and actually be more moisturized than just using the mousse by itself. So yeah, of course I like this cream. I've done a review on the full line of melanin hair care. If you wanna see that, I'll leave it up in the cards above and in the description box below. So this is the final look. I really enjoyed going back into my stash and using some of my old products in melanin hair care. I like how fluffy and soft it feels. So I, of course I'll be using it again. I've had it for a little while and I probably need to get rid of it soon. I am about to go to church. It's supposed to rain for majority of the day, so I'm not sure how my hair will hold up, but I'm really loving how it looks. I did mess up this little piece right here. I don't know if it was like how I took it down or how I twisted it up or whatever. So it is what it is. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Also click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I post. And until the next post, I'll see you later. Bye.